Good morning and a lovely day it is too. So, Taddy Bricks Landscaping here again. I'm Scott. How are you doing? Right, we've got a nice stone patio to do around the back. I'll show you what it looks like. Here's my good mate Josh. He's going to be doing all the digging for us today and getting everything in place. So, that's my man. Happy days. We're going to do all this. So, that's going to be fun. A bit of a dig out there on the oval, gotta get that shape going. Below. So we're gonna mark out now the oval for the um, other patio. So what I've cleverly enough been using, I've been using tent poles. Connect a lot of tent poles together, put a bit of a curve in it, and perfect. Got my oval sorted. So yeah, that's 100 mil MOT, compacted in two layers. So that's solid as solid can be. Morning, so today's installation day. We're gonna give it a whirl. A bit of a crap day yesterday, absolutely belted down. But today we're gonna to start sticking them down, so I'll show you how we're doing it. So the next part of the installation is sorting out the primer. I always use a Marshalls primer. And this is the stuff here in the bucket. So every tile gets this stuff painted on the back. I use a roller, I just find it's not as messy, but it all, this is the new thing I've never used before. I'm gonna use it today for the first time. So it helps you keep the tiles nice and level. So you've got this little gadget here that goes between the tile. Like so when they're laid, you pop those in between the joints, screw this cap on, and that brings the tile nice and flush. Never used it before, but um, yeah, if there's ever a gadget out there to help you, I'm always up for using it. So when I do it, it'll be one on every corner and then tighten her up and then should help bring everything a little bit leveler. So now we've got the primer sorted. Now we're gonna show you the cement. So the cement I'm using today is slightly wetter than I would normally use. I'll show you the texture. So this is the texture of it. It is wetter than I'd normally use, my previous video. But the main reason I'm using that texture today is because I'm using those to help lock them in position to stop anything from moving. So yeah, we'll give it a whirl, see how it goes. Okay, center point sorted. Um, slightly out of square, but that's okay. I can get over that. So I've got my center point here which is this spike. So I got a fan out either side of there. I've got this one in here, just so I know well, when I lay, well, actually I'll take this out now. Then when I lay this one in the middle, as long as it's flush there and there, then that's my center point. So it'll be a row of thin ones going across the middle, two rows of thick ones, two rows of thick ones, and then those alvenries there, they're going to go across and up the wall to retain it. It's going to be a bit tricky to do, but it's going to look really nice. So I'm quite excited to do this one. So I've just set my middle one out. Just primed it, put it in. So you can see the bubble there is just touching the line on the left. So that means it's got a, a nice fall for the water to get off that way. And that goes up there. That follows that line which connects up to there. So that end should be really nice. And then this end behind me, this end's gonna be higher, so that has to be retained by doing something like that. So I've got the curve in. I know it doesn't look much like a curve at the moment, which it doesn't, but it's to be continued. Well, I've got, the, um, I've got the basic shape done of the curve. So I'll let that go off overnight. Oh, I can stand on it. So this stone here, this buff one, that's gonna that's gonna go all the way around the inside of the curve. So when it's all gone off and I got a bit of time on my hands, I'm gonna set that out, cut it all the way around, and then I can infill then with those pieces there. So that's gonna be a massive day of chopping. Um, right. Boiling hot is about 20 odd degrees at the moment. So it's time for a quick shower. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, get the hose pipe out.
Oh, that's what you gotta do on a hot day. <laughs> so, time to um, do some work on the oval today. I put the alvenries around the outside just to set it out dry so visually I've got an idea and the customer's got an idea. So where you see my tent pole there, I just marked that off with a pencil. So now I'm gonna peel everything back up again and uh, start cutting. When I've got that side done, then I can transfer it over to this side, cut this side off, then at least it's prepped ready to go. Okay, looks like she's all cut out, ready to go. Let's have a little wander from this angle. That took me ages to figure out that shape. Ah, so I'm gonna call it a day today, it's 30 degrees. It's absolutely boiling. It's a midday sun and uh, I'm not used to it. So good thing about being your own boss. I've just decided we're both going home. Okay, back on the job again today. A little bit cooler this morning. So after cutting out yesterday and laying some of the tiles around the outside, I'm slightly worried it looked a little bit too much like an eye. So I just came in this morning, asked the customers what they think, if they want me to change it, curve the corners off. So I think we're gonna curve the corners off. See the pencil marks there? And the pencil marks over here. We're gonna curve it off a bit. So corner pieces have been smoothed off. Now it's time to put the tiles in. So I got my center point, I got my square. So as it's a really hot morning, what I'd like to do, I'd like to soak the area and I'd like to be laying on. So otherwise the cement will hit it and it'll dry too quick and it'll most likely crack. So yeah, a little tip, when it's really hot, wet it down. So the tiles around the edge are going in nicely. So I've started, started from the center point and just fanned out that way and that way. I've gone right the way around and I'm just short at the end. As you can see, just around about there somewhere. So I stopped there and I've laid out the next couple of tiles dry so I know if it's gonna work bond or not. And it has worked out bond, so there's no weird joints going in. Right, I'm gonna crack on with a retaining wall today around the oval. So I put tent poles right around the outside. That's the highest, the back area. And it's gonna gradually get lower and lower and lower to this point here, which will be the entrance into the patio. So heights are sorted. I gotta make a mix of concrete now and I can bed those in so they're nice and secure. Okay, and getting the hang of this now. Going in quite nicely. Gradually lowering it down bit by bit. Packing up some concrete behind it, nice and sturdy. Well, there we go. There's the uh, the oval feature sorted. The um, the walls retaining around it turned out pretty cool. So the entrance to the patio would be that section there. So you can just step off the main area straight on to the smaller patio. I think it looks really good. What's your thoughts on it? There we go, one oval patio. It's even got a couple of pots on it at the moment as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And the full version of this video will be going up tonight as well. So look out for that one and catch you on the next job. Thanks for watching guys.